Hey, how you doing? I want to talk to you about pop-ups, but in terms of tooltips. Now, it's very common when you go onto a website, you hover over a word or an image or something, and you get a bit of a tooltip. In Elemental, it's not that clear-cut. Now, there is a way to do it using hotspots, and I'm going to show you a way to do it without any CSS code or any other plugins or anything like that. We're just going to use the hotspot widget, and we're going to use it in a way that when you realize what it does, you're going to go, oh, okay, is that it really? But I'm going to first show you what a hotspot is and then how we're going to modify it to use it in a slightly different way. I'm Imran Sadiq Web Squadron. I hope you like, share, subscribe and follow because we love having you on our journey with Elementor and WordPress. So in Elementor, if I do a search for hotspot, we have the widget. Of course, Elementor Pro, if you haven't got Elementor Pro, we have got an affiliated link. Please go and get it. Or if not, there are lots of other plugins you can use. But if you want to keep it all in one place and watch out for plugin incompatibility, you really want to get Elementor Pro. So when you drop the widget in, you get this like blank image and you get a red spot. I'm going to very quickly click this and I'm going to pick a image. We'll go for this image here. And I'm just going to make this a large image. Of course, when you're using hotspots, though, unlike when you add an image to a column or a section background, you can have it, you know, center, center and scrolled and fixed and all that. You don't get that much luxury. You can obviously modify it like this because it is an image. You can start to mess around a little bit with the contrast and all of that. Whereas, again, remember, when you add it as a column or a section background, you lose the CSS filter which you normally have on an image. So there's a little bit of a benefit kind of thing. Um, now, th the key thing is, is, and I'm not focusing on hotspot, I'm focusing on how we use it differently, but I just want to make sure you understand hotspot widgets, okay? You've added on an image, we now have a hotspot over here. If I go to hotspot, I have item one, I'm going to change this to say Yoda. I'm going to go down here and just put the word Yoda in, and I'm now going to go to position, and I'm going to now just start to maneuver this position. So I'm going to stick it to be about roughly about here. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the label. Let me just get rid of the label, OK? So we don't want the content label. Let me get rid of that. So we only have the dots now, OK? I'm going to go to position and just move this to be over here. And when I hover over it, sorry, this one at the minute is on click. I'll come on to this in a moment. I'm going to have it on um, expand. So when you hover over it, it expands a little bit. You can't see it very clearly. I know that. I've gone to tooltip and I'm going to change it to hover. So it won't move until you hover over it. Or it won't show the tooltip until you hover over it. Sorry if I'm rushing this. I want to get onto the good stuff, okay? I'm going to go to style. I'm going to go down to the hotspot. And I'm going to change this to be a green color. Let's just make it a green, okay? Because it's Yoda, isn't it? All right. And in terms of the wording for the tooltip, I'm going to make the background of this be uh, transparent, like so. And I'm going to make the, um, uh, where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Where's it gone? There you go. The text color, I'm going to make that to be a white color, like that. So when you hover over it, you get the odor. And you can mess around with the typography and if the wording is sitting on the left or the right, okay? I'm now going to go to the image and I'm going to completely get rid of the image, right? That image is now gone. I'm just going to add a bit of padding into here. So we've just got this in the middle of the screen, uh, like so. OK, so there we have our tooltip, but there is no image. OK, instead, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to the item and in the label, I'm going to type. Um, let's just type gallery, for instance. OK. I'm then next door to the gallery. OK, um, I'm just going to put the word um, this will take you to the gallery all right okay now at the moment when you hover over it, it says this will take you to the gallery stay with me on this okay honestly really do stay with me on this by removing the image we now have some wording that will act as a tooltip if i now go to the styling of this i'm just going to scroll down okay i'm going to go to the uh hot spot first i'm going to leave i'm going to make it a red color just because red kind of works really no sorry no the hotspot is going to be white. No, it's not. We're going to leave it black. I'm, I'm, I'm waffling now. We're going to leave it black. OK. And the background color for that um, at the moment is over here. And I'm going to change that to just be white. We could have made it transparent. OK. I, I'm not overly fussed at the moment. Right. I'm then going to scroll down and go to the tooltip. 
And the tooltip, I'm going to make a red colour in terms of the font, the colour that comes out and the background will be white. And I'm going to change the orientation of the tooltip to sit over whatever you type, OK? Let's just update that and let's now preview. I now have the word gallery. I hover over it. I could have had it on click, but I've got it on hover. This will take you to the gallery. So there is no circular button now, OK? because I'm not showing that, okay? In fact, I'll just show you again. I've just gone over to the content, okay, over here, and there is no icon. The icon is gone. I don't want the icon. I'm just going to have wording. If you get rid of this, you'll have the icon. The minute you add in wording, gallery, hello, what is it, okay? Uh, I can't get more simpler than this, really. That's not, there you go, look. This will take you to the gallery. And because this is now in its own wherever it is, wherever you drop the widget, I could now start to place this with positioning, whether I do absolute or fixed or whatever I do, or however I move it with margins and padding, to be where I want. But it now means on the page, you can have a tooltip. So by using hotspots, by not using the old fashioned way, which is where you have an image and you have hotspots, because when you say that to people, they go, yeah, but I don't want an image, I just want a tooltip. This is how you can do it. Of course, if you're trying to do it within like an icon box or something you've already built, you might struggle a bit. But if you create your icon box from scratch column with your elements, you can have this. So this is a really simple, easy way with no CSS of how to do tooltips. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow and I'll see you soon.